Hello everyone, my name is Brandon Hurt. Uh, today I'm going to be showing you how to originate a loan and navigate through the system. Also showing you how to generate your disclosure packages, where to go to order a credit report, and how you can have your disclosure packages sent to the borrower electronically. So when you first lo go into your mortgage dashboard account, the applications that come from the consumer portal uh, will go into your prospect pipeline directly. From there, you can just locate the file that you need to order the, or that you're ready to work on, excuse me. Once you click on the application ID there, you'll be redirected to the 1003 page one to where you can begin working on the application. Uh, one thing that I would like to advise you, when you go into a file, uh, the first thing that you want to take care of is loading a navigation template onto the application. Uh, the reason for that is the system will not only know what disclosure forms they have created for you in your package, but will also provide you with the screens that you can go through to work through the application. To load a navigation template, you just simply click in this area. From there, you would locate the template that you want to have loaded. Once it's loaded, you will see that the pages listed here will display, and also you'll see the save and continue function appear to where you can go from one page to the next. On the 1003 page one, for the most part, the borrower and co-borrower and residence and employment information will be already filled out due to the fact that that's what's completed on the consumer portal from the borrower. Uh, one thing that you will have to take a look at, the app info, to make sure that the borrower type is correct. Also the loan program, uh, to make sure that the loan program that you're offering to that borrower is correct. The MI worksheet will need to be completed. Uh, to do the MI worksheet, you can see here, you just select on the include MI, PMI checkbox here. Uh, put in your monthly factor. The monthly MI amount will automatically calculate for you. Once you put in the minimum months that is required and the LTV cutoff, you can also see that it will have the, if it's going to be financed and included in your loan amount, what the total loan amount will be at that time. Any special features that you have on an application, whether it be interest only, the period that it is, also if it's a balloon and if there's a prepayment penalty. Now, once you have gone through the 1003 pages or in any of the navigation pages that you see located on the left-hand side, to order a credit on an application, the tab you want to go to is the services tab you see located here in the upper left-hand corner. From there, you would go to the credit center. Once you select the credit center option, you'll be redirected to where a credit report can be ordered. Uh, you see here that you have your credit product. Selecting on the drop-down menu, you can choose what the credit product that you want to order is. Also, you have the option for payment source. The two options displaying is default and credit card. If you choose the default option, that means your company will be charged for the credit report that's being ordered. If you choose the credit card option, you can see there the screen then gives you available fields to input the credit card number and the credit card information that you are going to charge for the credit report, just in case you want to charge the borrower for the credit report that you're ordering. You can also edit your credit details from here. When you select the edit credit details function, you'll be redirected to the page that you can choose to input any of the credit information that you want to display on the report that you're requesting. You see here you have your judgments, foreclosure, liens, and repossessions. Also any mortgage history, the month period for that. Uh, mortgage late payments, you see you have last 12 months. You can also request from 13 to 24 months and any bankruptcy. Once you do have your credit details selected as you would prefer, all you have to do is select the return to credit center option. And there you select your credit product that you want. We'll go Fannie Mae's Trial Merge for this example. Hit the order credit option. Once the credit report is being in the process of being ordered, you can see here that you get an overwrite existing information pop-up window asking if you would like to overwrite the liabilities that's already on the application. If you choose to select overwrite all, then the liabilities that are associated with that credit report will automatically populate on your dashboard application. If you choose do not overwrite, then there will not be an overwrite take place and the liabilities that you've already input will remain. And you also have the cancel option to cancel the order in the credit report. I'm going to go ahead and select overwrite all. Once you have chosen your option, mortgage dashboard will then display the report for you down here where you can view the PDF of it. You can also put it into the e-briefcase. And if you want to have the credit scores that are displaying on that credit report show up on any credit disclosures by selecting the icon here, it will place those credit scores on there. If you have any sort of an error message that takes place, you can see here credit code will advise you of it. Then you just go to that area of the application and correct the error report, and then you can go back to order the credit at that time. When you're ready to submit a file into the DU website, 
Again, you would go to your services tab. From there, you see your Fannie Mae DU option. Selecting that, you'll be redirected to the Fannie Mae desktop underwriter page. Now, when you are ready to submit this file, in this actions field below, you will get a option where it just says submit file into DU. Now, this application specifically has already been ran into DU, so you have the option to view the file directly in the DU website. If you update the 1003 in dashboard, selecting update 1003 in DU will I'll go ahead and automatically do that for you. You can view your latest findings. You can always resubmit the file to DU and get a new case file ID. When you select the view file in DU option, you'll get redirected to the DU website. A window will display letting you know that's taking place. When you hit OK, then the DU website will appear and you'll be taken from dashboard directly into DU. You can simply click on the name of the page you want to go to next. For example, the good faith estimate. Choosing that option will direct you straight to the GFV where you can input your line items as B, or if you have a GFV template that's already created, you can load your template and those line items will automatically populate for you. So once you get to the GFV page, you can see here is where you would load your template by simply clicking on the loan program that you're offering. Once you have the loan program selected, then the line items that you see listed here on all these tabs will automatically populate the dollar amounts that you have input. Now you do not have to load a GFE template, it's only up to your discretion. If you choose not to, then you can go through each line item and input the information as need be. As you can see here, you can go through each line for 80, the 800 section. You have your prepaid tabs as well, your title charges, your GFE summary, the rate lock tab is where you can input your rate lock information. The MI worksheet, as you can see, you did not have I did not have to input the information twice. Once you put it on the 1003 page one, it will automatically transfer over onto the GFE page for you. And then you also see you have a qualified mortgage tab. We'll let you know that if the loan you're currently working on does qualify with the QM standards. If not, then it will give you the results to let you know that it does not, as you can see here. If at any time you're ready to view the GFE, basically to see if it's going to be printing correctly or if it's going to display the line items that you have input correctly, you can choose this print view option here. And a PDF version of the GFE will display for you and you can go through that PDF to make sure what the borrower receives is correct. You can also view your initial fees worksheet here. And if at any time you want to have a line item show up in a different box that, uh, than it does normally, you can go to the GFE mapping tip sheet here and it will let you know what you can set the line item to be to have it display in a different box for you. Another page I would like to show you is the truth and lending disclosure here. When you select the TIO, you'll be redirected directly to the page to where you can have it set up to where the status is going to be preliminary or a final. You see your annual percentage rate automatically calculates. Uh, you will need to choose if there's going to be escrow or not on the application. As far as your finance charge, amount finance and total payments, that all automatically populates from the information you put in on the 1003. Uh, you will have the check boxes here to where if you, if it's applicable to have all the miracle disclosures except the late payments, disclosures are estimates. You also have the interest rate and payment summary below. If at any time that you put in an ARM information, the ARM information will display for you as well within this area. You can see here's your introductory section for introductory rate notice and balloon, your variable rate, if it's payable on demand, your filing fee, uh, security section, where you would input your late charge information is here. If there's a prepayment penalty and assumption. Now to make sure that your truth in lending is going to display for you correctly as you input it in the system, again, here's the print view option that you can generate the PDF. And you can also save and go back once you're done with the page or choose to just save or save and continue and go to the next page. When you're ready to have these forms as well as the GFE generated, you can have your disclosure package created one of two ways. Uh, one way is to have just the PDFs created to where you present it to the borrowers in person. Another way, since this is a new age in time, is to have the disclosure package generated electronically to where they'll be sent out to the borrower via email. To have the PDF just created and sent out or printed and presented to the borrower in person, just hit that print disclosure package option there. 
to have the system generated electronically where it says password protection, change that from off to on, and then hit your print disclosure option. From there, you'll be redirected to the print history page that you see here, and your disclosure pages that you create will be displaying down here for you. Now, if you have individual forms that you want to select and have those sent out to the borrower, again, you would go to the Forms tab, and then from there, scroll down to the Print Custom Document Set option you see listed here. Once you select that, you'll be redirected to the page in Dashboard that houses all the forms in our system. You can see from the Origination Disclosure tab, we also have FHA, VA, and USDA, your Processing tab, any state-specific forms that you may need will be housed here. Uh, any company-specific forms, that's if your company asks to put in a privacy policy form or anything along those lines, Dashboard can implement them into your system. You also have your broker lending and supporting as well. When you are in the forms screen here, any form that you see hyperlinked blue, you can go in and input the information as you see fit to make sure that it does print for you correctly. So for example, the identified service provider list that you see listed here, you can go in and input the company information as need be. Whatever the information that you input is, once it is input into the system and you choose save, that company information will automatic, automatically retain for you no matter what application you go into. So you won't have to always input the information manually. You can actually go to this drop down menu you see listed here Choose the company that you're looking for, and when selected, as you can see, their information automatically populates. To help save you time, you can do that for each field as need be. Once you have all the fields completed and the company information is displaying correctly, you can choose save or save and go back. When you choose save and go back, the page will save for you, and then you'll be redirected right back to where those forms were listed. And then from there, you can select the checkbox next to the forms you want to have generated for your custom document package. And as you go through each tab, you do not have to worry about the checks being removed as you move through the system. When you go back through the tabs, you can actually see that the check boxes are remaining. Now, once you do have all the forms selected that you want to have generated in your custom document set, you just have to scroll down to the bottom of the page. And when you hit generate document set, the system will collect each form that has the check box next to it into its own custom document set to where you can have it printed out and presented to the borrower that way. But if you still want to have it sent electronically, you can by just going under where it says the print options, choose to have it change from password protect from no to yes. And then from there, hit the generate document set and you'll be able to send those forms out electronically as well. Once you have your forms all generated and they're ready to be sent out at any time, the forms will retain in the system for as long as the application is open. Uh, there will be an option that you'll have available for you to delete the packages that you create if you choose to. If you choose not to, then it will retain for you on the application. And then also you will have a uh, print statement that you can send out the date and time that the packages that you sent to the borrower were emailed. And you can have that printed off as well and save to the application also. Again, yeah, my name is Brandon Hearn. I'm with the client care team here at Mortgage Dashboard. I thank you for your time today, and I'm looking forward to you working with the system. Thank you.